This first question asks us to crambunctuously calculate the volume in liters of an ideal gas if 1.5 moles of it has a pressure of 1.25 atmospheres and a temperature of negative 6 degrees Celsius. Of course, this is going to involve the ideal gas law, which is PV equals nRT. Sometimes I call that the pervert equation, or if I'm speaking too quickly, the pervert equation. So we have P. P is, uh, in this case, going to be uh, 1.25 atmospheres. I've got V. Uh, I don't have V. V is the thing that I'm trying to figure out. The temperature is negative 6 degrees Celsius. And the uh, number of moles, n, from that equation is equal to 1.50. We have to, of course, remember the ideal gas constant. Which ideal gas constant do we want to choose? Well, that's going to depend on what units we want to use. I personally prefer this ideal ga gas constant for this kind of problem, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Sometimes I call that liter atmospheres per mole. The reason I like that one is because I've used it so many times that I just have it memorized. The trick is that you have to make sure that all of your other values have matching units. For instance, I've got here moles is one of my units. I have moles there, okay, and I should have written that frankly right there, 1.50 moles. I have atmospheres in my ideal gas uh, constant, and I have atmospheres over here so my pressures match. Uh, I have liters is what I'm looking for. Kelvin, I don't have Kelvins, I've got degrees Celsius, so I'm going to have to add 273.15 in order to uh, bridge the difference and get my Kelvins. That ends up turning into 273 minus 6 is going to be 267.15 Kelvins. Now all I have to do is just isolate using the magic of algebra the uh, quantity that I'm trying to determine, which is V, and put everything else on the other side. V equals nRT divided by P. Now I just place all of these different values in their locations. 1.50 moles for N. R is going to be 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole. <laughs> I never get tired of laughing at my own joke there. Temperature is 267.15 kelvins, and pressure is equal to 1.25 atmospheres. If I've used all of the correct units, then I should be left with the units I'm searching for. Atmospheres cancel out atmospheres here. Kelvins cancel out kelvins. Mole cancels out mole, and I'm left with liters, which is the units I'm looking for. When I do that in my calculator, the answer or value that I end up getting is 26, uh, let me see we're gonna, yeah, 26.3 liters. <clears throat> in the second problem, it's asking me to calculate the temperature of a gas, where it gives me a number of moles, it gives me a volume, and it gives me a pressure and torr. I'm not gonna do that for you here, but we'll invite you to do that one on your own. This next problem tells me that Goodyear blimps hold approximately 175,000 cubic feet of <coughs> helium. So that is the uh, volume. It then tells me a temperature. It's, it gives me 23 degrees Celsius. It gives me a uh, pressure as being 1.0 atmospheres and asks me what the mass is of the helium in the blimp. So mass of helium. We're, of course, going to begin by using the pervert, or pervert equation, PV equals nRT. This is the ideal gas equation. Mass of helium is, of course, going to be in some kind of units like grams or kilograms. <clears throat> Do I have mass as one of these uh, values here? Well, this one's pressure. This one's volume. This one is the ideal gas constant. This one is temperature. This one is the number of moles. So I don't have mass embedded within the pervert equation at all. Is there anything in it that could allow me to determine what the mass is? Well, yeah, if I could determine what the moles or the number of moles are, then I could convert that into mass using the atomic mass of helium. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to rearrange this equation so that we have number of moles on one side. We've got everything else on the other. Now, I've got all of my different uh, items here. Oh, minus my ideal gas constant. So I always use my favorite point, my favorite ideal gas constant. 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole, <laughs> per mole Kelvin, sorry. <sighs> now I want to make sure that all my units match. So I've got atmospheres in my ideal gas constant. I've got atmospheres there. I've got Kelvins in my ideal gas constant. I've got, uh, 
I've got degrees Celsius there. I've got liters in my ideal, ideal gas constant, and I've got cubic feet up there. So I'm going to have to do some conversions. First one's pretty easy. Temperature is at 23 degrees Celsius. I'm going to add 273.15 to, uh, to convert that to kelvins. <clears throat> I did that already. That ends up giving me 296.15 kelvins. Now separately, I'm going to do the harder one. 175,000 cubic feet. I'm trying to convert that into liters. So how in the world can I do that? Well, if I looked up cubic feet on the internet, which I did, I, dis uh, I, I discovered that one cubic foot contains 28.32 liters. And for my students who actually take this class from me, I will give you that uh, conversion factor. I mean, when I crank that out my calculator, I get 4.96 times 10 to the 6 liters. Now I have my volume, and I've got my temperature in proper units. So I need to calculate my number of moles. Number of moles is going to equal pressure. One atmosphere multiplied by the volume. 4.96 times 10 to the 6 liters. So yeah, Goodyear blimps are pretty large. Divided by the ideal gas constant, 0 0.0, 8206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Multiplied by uh, temperature, and the temperature is 296.15 Kelvins. All my units should cancel out, and it should leave me with the units that I'm trying to get to. Kelvins cancel out Kelvins. Atmospheres cancel out atmospheres, liters down here cancel out liters, and I've got moles in the denominator of the denominator, which means it's really in the numerator. When I plug and chug, I end up getting a final answer of moles uh, as being uh, 2.04 times 10 to the fifth. That's a lot of moles. Now, <laughs> moles. The question isn't asking me for moles, it's asking me for the mass. So. How many mass or what how many grams is that many moles of helium? Well, to do that, I'm gonna have to look at the periodic table and get its atomic weight. I've got 2.04 times 10 to the fifth moles of helium. If you look at the periodic table, one individual atom, so I'll write down one mole, or I should say, sorry, one mole of helium, that's what I meant to say, weighs four grams. I think I've got that right. You could take that out a couple decimal places if you wanted, uh, but I'm not going to because I don't care. So I'll cross out moles of helium on the top and the bottom, and I end up getting uh, 8.16 times 10 to the fifth grams.